We're tracking the latest on what U.S. officials are calling a Chinese surveillance balloon that's maneuvering east across the United States. The Pentagon says NORAD is monitoring the situation, and right now the balloon does not pose a physical or military threat to the people on the ground. In the wake of the aircraft's discovery, Secretary of State Antony Blinken has postponed a weekend diplomatic trip to China. 12 News reporter Joe Cortez caught up with Senator Jack Reed, who's on the Armed Services Committee. He joins us now with what Reed had to say about all of this. Joe? Shannon, the Chinese Foreign Ministry said the balloon is a civilian airship used mainly for meteorological research. But earlier today, the Pentagon said they know it's a balloon used for surveillance. We caught up with Senator Jack Reed, who said the U.S. is sending a strong message to China after postponing the Secretary of State's trip to Beijing. A few days after a suspected spy balloon was spotted over U.S. airspace, a senior defense official said the U.S. has, quote, very high confidence. It was flying over sensitive sites to collect information. The Chinese Foreign Ministry claims it's a weather research unit. Well, we are aware of the PRC's statement. Um, however, the fact is uh, we know that it's a surveillance balloon. So the balloon is maneuverable. Um, clearly, it's in it's violated U.S. airspace. The balloon was spotted over Montana, which is home to one of the country's three nuclear missile silo fields. U.S. officials say they've seen this type of activity before, but this time it's different. And I think what makes this different is uh, the duration and the length of which it has been over uh, U.S. territory. NORAD is closely monitoring the situation, and right now the balloon is heading east over the center of the continental U.S. And I don't think uh, it came over on its own <laughs> will. It was launched and it was directed uh, to enter both the United States and Canadian airspace. In wake of this discovery, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has now postponed a weekend diplomatic trip to China. And they have made a very uh, stern decision uh, to signal the Chinese that this type of behavior is not going to be tolerated by postponing Secretary Blinken's trip. To Senator Reid added, the message being sent is that China has to respect international norms and rules. If they do that, then we can conduct a uh, hopefully productive diplomacy, but if they're not following these rules, then, you know, we're not going to have the kind of discussions and diplomacy that we need. Now, there have been multiple reports saying the balloon was spotted near Kansas City this afternoon. Tonight at 6, we'll hear more from Senator Reid and a Massachusetts congressman on this developing situation. Reporting live in studio, Joe Cortez, 12 News.